Every time. Uh, finish. Yes? Oh my goodness. No. I don't know. Is it on your page? I don't know. You should really make a habit of checking Hi. That. As always, the second I hit, what do you hit to hit start it? Start live. Yeah. I go into panic mode. Am I on my personal page? Or am I on my business page? If anybody's on here live, will you let us know? So, we're coming at you with sneak sniffs. Oh, does it stay with me? Yeah. Nope, now oh. it's on me. Oh, I'm pink now. I let it up. I <laughs> know. <laughs> I want the green or the pink one. Anyhow, we're here for sneak sniffs. We're oh, going to go over on. the bring back my bars. So, um, first of all, my name is Brandy Melton, and I am going to be... Hi, Melissa, can you answer me a question? Am I, am I on my business page or my personal page? I panic every time. And I was going to stop it and start over and what have you, but I'll ask you instead. So, anyhow, we are going to do snake sniffs. Oh, I already said that. Yeah. I'm Brandy Melton. I have been a Sensi Consultant. Oh, thank you so much. Good okay, good. Now I can focus and we can get this done. I have been a Sensi Consultant for almost eight years. August 2nd will be my eight-year anniversary. Um, anyhow, I love my job. Part-time. Started off part-time. Went on full-time. Um, I just got back from a cruise it sent me on. So, paychecks, free vacations, a dog coming in my office. Um, all kinds of fun things. And included are not only amazing products that we get to use and... Um, on a daily basis and love them, but then they add fun stuff like this. So I have fallen in love with a few of these scents from years past and now they're back. So that's gonna lead me into what is Bring Back My Bar. Bring Back My Bar is the, so we discontinue every catalog season about 25, 30 cents. And then we bring in like a brand new 15 to 20 cents. So um, not every time do it doesn't discontinue scent ever come back so sometimes we get rid of a scent because of the title so summer holiday chances are it'll be discontinued at the end of August because we don't tend to sell scents like summer holiday in the middle of December so sometimes we discontinue them just because of the title and sometimes we discontinue them because we just want to bring something new and fresh in so every time we have a discontinue um, thing that happens what do you call that professionally twice a year we do discontinues um, I think again, I'm they, we can't always guarantee you that those scents are going to come back. And when they do disappear forever and you start to cry tears of sadness, don't fret because twice a year, we also bring back old discontinued scents. So how it works is hundreds and hundreds of scents have been discontinued. And then not only we, the consultants, but you guys get to go onto our websites twice a year, vote your little hearts out for a number of weeks and the top 20 to 25 uh, voted back discontinued scents. Sometimes it's 20, sometimes it's 25. There's no rhyme or reason. This time it's 25. They get brought back for production for one month only. So you want to vote for your favorites that are discontinued. Hope they come back and then you have one month to stock up. And that is what we call Bring Back My Bar. Old discontinued scents, top voted back, come in for production. And this time around it'll be for production between July 1st and July 30. First, there's 31 days in July. I'm so bad about that. Anyhow, yeah, so we are going to, we're not going to give you our guesses, but we are going to, to open up a bar, tell you what it is, tell you what our vote is for it, and then let you know what it smells like, what the ingredients are inside. That way, if you don't live near enough to me to smell these yourself, you have an idea of what they smell like. If, it, if you can't, like, what is bamboo yuzu? I can't remember what that one smells like. We'll give you a clue. Um, if you've never smelt it before and you want to give it a try we can do that if you live near me you can come and smell these yourself or I can pass them to you and we can start passing them around so anyhow but so you know before it goes on sale tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and break this down there are 25 so we're gonna kind of move quick if you come up with questions during this pipe up if you have ever uh, used any of these scents that we're smelling so say when we're smelling uh, Zen Garden if you've ever used it before whether you're live with us now or you're watching the replay go ahead and do like a hashtag used it before or hashtag love it or hashtag not my fave but liked this something like that so that way we know um, if any of these are your favorites all right are you ready so we're gonna kind of go off the list they're gonna be in what looks like alphabetical order the first one is bamboo yuzu it's green. Oh, you know what? We can't smell because our nostrils are plugged up. 
can't smell. Shutter off. All the way to the left, no filter. Hi. Okay, so now you're seeing Brandy Melton and Sensi Sarah, and we're gonna go ahead and break down Bamboo Yuzu. So go ahead and open it. Um, I actually remember this one. This one is green colored wax, mostly because it's kind of got a green smell, if that makes any sense. It smells like green. It smells very um, grassy oh, to me. It's There's a little bit of sweetness, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of sweetness that's non-floral. I think, ooh, I, that rubbed on my lip. I'll be smelling that all night long. Um, it almost has like a little bit of lemon. Kind of, yeah. So to me, if you're looking for a scent that smells not earthy, like hippie earthy, but, and not necessarily fresh cut grass, because I think that can aggravate some people's um, sense of allergies, this just smells like you've gone and cut fresh flowers off, but it's not floral. It's like the green part of the floral. So what's inside of Bamboo Yuzu, it says, imagine a Japanese garden as you breathe in dewy bamboo, tranquil lotus flower, and fresh yu yuzu with a hint of sage. So the sweetness you're smelling is the yuzu fruit. Oh. So very, very green, very, very um, green florally, like the stems of, say, like a carnation or a rose or something, um, with just a touch of a sweetness to it. All right, the second one is one of my faves. So this is where I would hashtag my fave. Oh, this one's good. I can already smell it. I actually still have a room spray of this that we still use because I like it so much. It's called Banana Berry. It's very good. I love this one. So all my banana fans out there, uh, you know the runts that you can eat that um, kind of soft in the center, like chalky soft in the center and the shiny yellow outside? Think of that being merged with like a bowl of maybe raspberries or some sort of fruit. Oh, this is mouth-watering to me. I'm telling you, banana berry, hashtag favorite for Sensi, me. I don't know about you. Hashtag favorite. Anyhow, amazing. Very heavy on the banana. Um, and then there's a berry side to it. So it says lusciously sweet banana cream layered with succulent strawberries. So strawberries and bananas, that is what that. So I wouldn't say it smells like a strawberry smoothie. Um, I, it's, it's just heavier on the bananas, but like runts bananas, like the really good stuff. So I like that one. That's a favorite of mine. Okay. The next one is blackberry meringue. That one is on my side right here. It's going to be a lavender colored wax. Uh, I don't remember this one. So inside of blackberry meringue is blackberry sugared fig, black plum, and a pinch of, <laughs> I read it as ground beef. Oh my gosh, that would be so gross. Ew. Anyhow, it's not ground beef. It's a pinch of ground spice uh, mingled deliciously in this to die for sensory dessert. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I can smell it from here. It reminds me of going into the fall season. Can you smell that? Yes. Yeah, so it's kind of weird. Like it's sweet. The, the blackberry makes it smell sweet and fruity like spring, summer, but I think it must be that spice, the pinch of spice in there. It really um, kind of darkens that scent up. So it smells, this would be the perfect transition like October, Halloween, going into Thanksgiving. Oh, it's really good. I like this. I don't think I've ever... Sounds good. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've smelt it, but this one actually hits me a lot better than it hit. I don't you would think, think I've ever I, smelt it. I would think I would have remembered something like this. Anyhow, really good. Blackberry. Black, I cannot say this one. Blackberry meringue. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Next one. Bora Bora Blossom. That must be on your reds. side. In my reds. Wait. It's oh, on your side. Never mind. We have it broken down I thought, by color. I thought I was in. I thought we were on Buckleberry. No. Bora Bora Blossom. I like this one. I remember it's very remember sweet. It. And it's got a slight floral kick, but... When I think of floral, I think like a white floral, like a jasmine. Um, anyhow, while she's struggling with that, because sometimes they're hard to get out, it's called Bora Bora Blossom. It says, get lost in a balmy combination of succulent island fruits. So that's where the sweetness comes from. Lush orchid. That would be the floral scent. Uh, balanced with a kiss of fresh green violet leaf. So it's very clean smelling, very um, sweet smelling. But Ew. for sure, if you don't like florals, you want to be careful of this one because this one definitely has got a floral kick to it. In a way, it kind of smells like you're sitting by your pool. Sort of. I don't know. Or the beach. I don't you, know. 
we don't have a poll. So I don't know how she <laughs> knows that. <laughs> I don't know where you get that from. I don't know. I think it's just the clean smell. Uh, or the outdoorsy, like a florally. I don't know. So um, I like this one. I can't say it's a hashtag favorite. I struggle with florals, and I think that after a while, although when you open it, you go, oh, that smells good. I think after a while, that one would start to bother me just because of the floral half of it. So what do you think? It's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, the next one is Buckleberry. That's is that on my I side? Have. All right, Buckleberry. Hi, Brandon, and Linda's on here. How are you? All right, Buckleberry. This one is you want to read it a bite of summer's bounty bursting fresh berries atop a butterfly blanket of crumbly coffee cake <laughs> oh that's gosh. like a tongue twister um that's because you didn't read it right what you said butterfly oh oops <laughs> okay so it's a bite of summer's bounty it's bursting with fresh berries atop a buttery blanket of crumbly coffee cake Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we eat butterflies. Maybe something buttery, but... Okay, I've smelt this before, and I I don't agree with this description. Like, that sounds super fruity. It's very tangy. Smell this. It is. It is. It's like tart tangy, but not citrusy. It's, um, think sour grapes. Um, think like a bitter plum. And I know I'm making it sound awful. I will say it's not my favorite because I tend to like the more sweet stuff. And this is like almost makes your mouth water because it's so tart. Um, there's something spicy in here that kind of reminds me of cinnamon. Maybe that's coming from the coffee cake part of it. I don't know. This one's a tough one for me. I want to like it really bad. There's like, I like it a little bit, but it's not my favorite. I'm going to tell you a secret. It smells like there's plums in here, like when I said like a bitter plum, and I just don't like our scents that have plum in it. Now, mm -hmm. it doesn't have plum, it doesn't say that, but I, there's something in here that reminds me of our plum scent. So, it's plummy. not my favorite, but I, oh my gosh, Brandon, are you seriously at the Diamondbacks game? <laughs> I'm so jealous. Wow. Go D-backs. Um, so I don't dislike it by any means. If you like strong, you'll like this. If you like our foodie scents, you might like this. It has a lot of that tart plum or berry smell to it. Um, I don't know. This is going to have to be one that you borrow my testers and smell because I can't figure this one out. It's not awful, but it's not my favorite. So that is Buckleberry. All right. Have we done that? We did that one. All right. The next one is Business Casual. Do you to take your I got ones? it. Oh, this one's good. This is the one that Travis, my son, um, is always wanting to burn in his room, and it's been discontinued for a few catalog seasons now. I don't remember it. Holy mackerel. Okay, think of 1990. Oh. Late 80s, 1990. Think Dracar or... Cologne. Uh, it's men's cologne. It's, but it's from that, like, you know, back in the day when men would, like, or boys, let me just clarify boys, because back in the day I was not a woman. I was in like the eighth grade, and they would drown themselves in cologne, and you'd be like, oh, he's so cute, and he smells so good. That's what this smells like. So business casual smells just like um, cologne from the 80s, but by no means is, does that mean it's bad. I, it's, these clones are still being made this day, and they're still as good. It sort of smells like um, pine, a little bit, like, hmm. I don't know. Just cologne, that's Love it. what I think of. Love this. Okay, uh, a fusion of exotic cardamom, intriguing caraway, so far I don't know what either one of those smell like, lively pepper, and fragrant woods with a powdery wisp of orange blossom. Absolutely. That's a lot of, like, I can't think of the word. Fancy words to say it smells like amazing cologne. Trust me, yeah. business casual. Think of a very, very handsome man walking by your desk. <gasps> yeah, yeah. You're in my right, like, wheelhouse there, Sherry. Like, polos and dracars. Like and cologne? what was the one cologne? Not obsession, because I don't think I liked that one. Yeah, like that. Anyhow, very, very good. Very good manly scent. Okay, <laughs> next one. Oh, my gosh. Cherry clove chutney. That's on my side. 
I have smelled this before. It is incredibly strong. If you like cinnamon, you will love this. If you have ever camped at the Blue Ridge Campgrounds, uh -oh. <laughs> you might have a flashback of a memory that you don't love. So I'm gonna share a little story about the Melton Mob. <laughs> we camp, not often, and we camp in the same place. We like the Blue Ridge um, Campgrounds. And they have bathrooms because it's very important to me to have a bathroom that I can use. However, they do not flush. They are the big hole in the ground with the stack pipes that stick up. Will you work on that? Anyhow, to make the bathroom uh, able for you to walk in there and breathe, they hang these round things. They look like donuts and they hang them all over the place on the wall and they smell like cinnamon which they smell really good, but first thing in the morning when you wake up and you really have to go to the bathroom really, really bad and you go running in there, you can't breathe because of how the barometric pressure is and the stack, like for some reason the fumes come up and oh now God. you're battling cinnamon and everything that is in that good Lord awful hole that we all go to the bathroom in. So I'm scarred by the smell of the cinnamon that hangs in the bathrooms at our campgrounds and un. Unfortunately, the same cinnamon they put in those donuts in the bathroom is kind of the same cinnamon in here. Here you, you can have it. So this smells like Blue Ridge Campground. I mean, it makes it's me strong. instantly think of a porta potty. And I hate to tell you that because it smells really good. It just unfortunately have a memory ta tagged to this scent. But if you like cinnamon, um, cinnamon bear, cinnamon hard candy. Yeah, like Red Hots. Mm -hmm. This is very, very cinnamon, or I mean, very, very close, similar. That's the word I was trying to say and it came out, cinnamon. Very, very sim, I, oh my heavens. Similar. It's very similar to like, what was, what was the scent? Red Hots. Red like Hots. Like the Red Hots mm -hmm. candy. However, there's something else in here. So it says crushed Bing cherries. Maybe that's the sweetness because it's, it's definitely different from just plain old cinnamon candy. So it's crushed Bing cherries, cloves. Very, very light on the cloves. Unless you're sensitive, you'll probably smell it pretty heavy. And cinnamon. So cinnamon, cloves, and cherries. And that makes sense because we have a scent called clove and cinnamon. It comes out every single fall and winter. This is a sweet version of clove and cinnamon. So if you've burned that in the past, mm -hmm. add a little sweet kick to it and you've got this. All right? Go visit Blue Ridge Campgrounds. Use the bathrooms and then you'll say, oh, <laughs> I totally get it. All right. Ready? Coconut flour. I have that one as well. This is going to be a hashtag, love it. I have I remember this burned one. this one many a times in my house. We came out with coconut cotton and coconut flour a few years ago. Um, this is softer than coconut cotton. Um, I love it. Oh, that is so good to me. It is fresh. That it is good. clean. Um, if you like aloe water and cucumber in our current catalog, you're going to love this. This is just a little more coconutty than what that has to offer. Um, so coconut flour. It's a graceful trop. It's not a. It's graceful tropical blossoms meets luscious pineapple, and the subtle scent of coconut milk in a feminine and floral fragrance. I agree. It is um, more of a feminine fragrant <laughs> fragrance. I know. I am like rough with my words today. I'm starving, and I think my brain is like misfiring. So you yeah. Don't eat any of these. Girly scent clean scent, spa scent. Um, Good scent. If you are sensitive to florals, do not even worry about this. I know the word flower is in it. Um, <laughs> I don't know who that is. For some reason, my Wi-Fi is not like working very well. Hopefully our video is doing okay. Somebody wants to know why we're going live while they're at work. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I wish you could come out and play with us because we're playing with the it's new scent. Brandon. Is it? Oh, it is you. What do you mean work? He said he was at work in one of the comments. Uh, oh, I thought he was at the stadium. I, I like this one. All right, what's your vote on this? This is a hashtag love from me. Hashtag favorite. Whatever oh, it's called. Good deal. That's one step up from me. All right, next one. Fresh cut daisies. You have that one. They're too. all on my side. Goodness. You're going to smell this one. This is heavy, heavy floral. If you're a floral person like me and it kind of bothers you, this one is going to, it's heavy on the floral side. Mm -hmm. That's very heavy on the floral side. It's very floral. -y. It reminds me of um, fabric softener, like laundry scent plus flowers. Yeah. Am I crazy? 
No. There's a very well, clean sometimes. side to it, and there's a very floral side to it. Very, very strong. I have a feeling when you have this going in your house, you're not going to have to, like, double up on your cubes if you want it strong. Mm -mm. One cube is going to be good enough. Uh, fresh cut daisies. It's a meadow awash in summer blooms. Freshly cut grass and mm -hmm. clover with daisies, buttercups, and ivy. So there's no, like, hint of soap in there. It's just a conglomeration of greens and florals. That's a big word. And it is... Can you define that for me? No. It's a mix of <laughs> heavy, heavy, heavy scent. Very, very strong. It is, I would have to pass on this. It's not because it smells bad. It's just because it's too heavy on the floral scent for me. If you like the floral scents, Lush Gardenias. Um, in the past, you've had Sunburst Blooms, which might be in this. Maybe not. Maybe that was past years. Anyhow, if you like florals, you may love this scent. All right. Grape Granita. You have that one, too. Me? Ooh, I need to play the lottery. Grape Granita is very similar to the current scent we have going on right now called uh, Gleeful Grape. Gleeful Grape is in our kids' section. It's very sweet. Um, smells like grape bubblegum. This one is exactly like that. I can smell it already. It, it smells, smells like... like grape Fanta. Yeah, grape soda. When we used to like go to Grandma's house, she would always get us grape Fanta. Yeah, it smells really good. Grape bubblegum here. You can describe what's in it. I want to compare it to Gleeful Grape. Like, read that? Yeah. Um, Sun-warmed grape and pineapple with undertones of honeysuckle. I so, read it at that time. So, it's very, um, it's not candy sweet grape. It is sweet grape, but there's like a tartness to it, which mm -hmm. might be the pineapple. I like this one a lot. Oh, I like that one way better than this one. Oh, yeah, this one's so much better. Okay, so Gleeful Grape, which is in our kids' line currently, is softer, sweet almost a little bit on the soapy side that is like legit grape soda grape bubble gum I for sure prefer that one I think it's just the grape soda I love that smell mm -hmm. okay so that is a hashtag like from me it's a strong hashtag scent love. all right moving on we have Hemingway that's on your side this has been a favorite of my customers for years and years and years. Every time we have bring back my bar, and if this makes it, I have to send a bazillion texts out. So if you are on that list, you're going to probably be getting a text from me. This is a scent that is um, darker. It's got cedar in it. It makes me think of the fall. It smells like being Christmas. Being in a cabin. Yes, it for sure is like being in a cabin kind of smell. So Hemingway is described as rich, ripe apples and warm, woody accents of sandalwood and cedar with hints of spice. So I'm going to say that there's probably cinnamon, um, I won't say cloves, but like a cinnamony smell, maybe nutmeg in there. The cedar wood is what I really, really smell, and that's mm -hmm. that woodsy kind of smell. This is, a, I'm not kidding you, it is a favorite. I'm going to say hashtag favorite for not only me, but a million of my other friends and neighbors around here because they love, love, love the scent. So this is probably going to be one of the best sellers out of the collection for me just because it's got a heavy following. So Hashtag one of my favorites. Hashtag babe. All right, lemon coconut chiffon. You have that one. This is another one that people are going to be banging down my door. Um, Lindsay Petrie, you ask me every single time, do you have lemon coconut chiffon? I think I just told you like a week or two ago, no. Surprise! It's here. Danielle, you're another one that loves it. Um, so this is, I can already tell you right now, I can smell it and I'm loving it. Lemon coconut chiffon kind of describes itself. It says melt in your mouth, lemon custard. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Layered with butter cake and sprinkled with toasted coconut. So it smells buttery, um, like a buttery yellow cake but you can smell that toasted coconut on That's it. Oh my gosh, really I'm telling you. It this, makes my mouth water. It's, it's a really top good. seller. This is one that comes back and people like will stock up in multiple six packs just for this scent. It smells like lemon cake. It does, but it's got that toasted coconut. Like, mm -hmm. so like, it's, oh, it's beautiful. It's amazing. It is a favorite, 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 favorite. You favorite. have to, have to you have to try one of these, you have to try lemon coconut chiffon. All right. You have that one, one on too. my side, too. Uh, the next scent is called Lemon Lavender. This is kind of a funny situation to me. When this first came out, I think it, I, I was not a consultant when it was a current scent. It came out to bring back my bar, and I did not like it at all. And I, for some reason, have fallen in love with 
lavender. Like ever since we came out with our essential oils with lavender, she doesn't like it, doesn't like lavender. I have the lavender room spray, the French lavender Scentsy scent. I spray it on my pillow and I think I overdid it. My kids are like, enough with a French lavender. They just don't like it. I just don't like any lavender smells at all. So I love it. And then you mix with it lemon and it gives it that really crisp, clean, but yet, I don't know. It's just a spa scent to me. Smell that. Do you like that? I like the lemon. So I like, I like that scent because it's mostly lemon. I will say this is probably 75% lemon and 25% lavender and it's nothing that is like fake lemon fake. It's like real and real, real mm -hmm. sliced lemons with lavender sprinkled with it. It is to die for. To be so, honest, I don't smell the lavender, which that makes me happy. <laughs> I do, <laughs> but it's very, very subtle. So if you're not a lavender lover take her word for it it's still a great scent if you we have lots of people that like lemon scents you'll love this it's got that like fresh cut lemon scent not a candied lemon not a fake lemon it's just a legit lemon scent with a little bit of lavender i love it it smells amazing this is going to be one of my favorites and i will stock up on this all right next one is lotus cove this was a scent of the month probably two years ago maybe three um it is a scent that I don't love. It's a scent I don't hate. It's I mean, just a, it's an okay scent. It's very just, like, not plain, but just, like, simple. It, it is. It smells like. It's a clean scent. It smells like you're, I don't know. I don't know how to describe that one. It's just It's a simple. mixture from being, like, a beachy outdoors scent, like, water-based scent, if that makes sense, like, ocean -y. Yeah, like you're smelling water. Um, <laughs> maybe a little bit of floral. <laughs> are you are you laughing because Aunt Carrie's on? Why are you laughing? No, because I said it's like you're smelling water. Oh, smelling water and water doesn't have a scent. Last time I said that, you said water does not have a it scent. It doesn't have a scent. This is like beachy smelling, oh, but sorry. clean smelling. It kind of smells like a little bit of soapy, but mostly like water. Yeah, so I think when we say clean scent, it's because it smells like something you would put in your bathroom or a laundry room or a bedroom. It's good. It's not a favorite. I don't dislike it. It's kind of bizarre. It's just a plain, clean scent. So what is in it is a splash of sea air, earthy lavender. You can't smell lavender. Yeah, you can't smell lavender. And watery. <laughs> I told you said there's water in no, it. I read it wrong. I read watery <laughs> flowers. I don't know what a watery flower is. It's because it's not what it says. Water flowers. So, you know, like on a lily. So water. The flowers of the water. <laughs> Anchored by rustic driftwood. So it's outdoorsy, watery scent. <laughs> not good, not bad. All right, what's next is Marshmallow Mint. I can't get that. Stacey Hines. Marshmallow. Okay, she's struggling with the scent. It is mint green in color. Marshmallow Mint reminds me of those um, pale yellow, pale pink, pale green, like... They look like Hershey Kisses, but they're those mints, the but butter mints that you have at weddings. This is what it um, reminds me of when you're smelling it, like I kind of feel like I can eat it and that, you know, we don't have to flip it out if it's not going to come out. Anyhow, what is inside of it? Butter mint, I got marshmallow, and they're mixed together beneath an amber veil. Oh, this is a favorite. That's very good. <sighs> It smells that like, is really good. You know those like circle mints and they're like not like mm. not just a regular circle but it's like an actual ball and like they just melt in your mouth. I do know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. They're kind of chalky. Yeah, they're kind of like mm -hmm. chalky. They're, yeah. That's kind of what it smells like. Okay, so those but of you sweeter. who recently experienced in the last six months our vanilla mint scent, this is very similar to it. Um, take away the vanilla and make it marshmallows so it's a little sweeter smelling much more minty. So vanilla mint was sweet and minty at the same time, but it was heavy vanilla light mint. This is kind of the same mixture, but it's going to be sweeter, so the marshmallow mm -hmm. with heavy mint. That is very good. It's okay. amazing. This is a hashtag love for me. Pillars. Have any of you used any of these scents before? I'm not seeing any. Are there any? Yes, similar to pillow mints, yes. Um, I'm going to scroll back. Polo, yup, yup, hi. Oh, Look, Melissa's used Bora Bora Blossom before. We missed that Bora one. Bora Bora Blossom was a um, popular one. Yeah, that was. 
All right, moving on. Sea, sun, and fun. If you love a strong scent, this is meant for you. I actually like this scent. It is 100% um, renting a beach house, opening up the door, stepping out, walking across that like weathered like walkway to the beach and you smell the grass and the sea air and the sand, 100%. That is in this bar. I love, love, love it. I love the beach. But this is such an incredibly strong scent that when that was a current scent, I had to cut my cubes in half. So um, I love white tea and cactus. I can only use half a cube at a time because it's so, so strong. Clothesline, great scent, cut the cube in half. It's way too strong in my household for my nose. Um, I love that. That it's is 100% really being at the beach, um, but incredibly strong. So if you like those incredibly strong scents, you're gonna wanna stock up on this. So see Sun and Fun says, Summer Fun, a splash of salt water an orange twist, scattered lily petals, and rays of sunny amber. That You can smell the amber because there's a little bit of like a tiny bit of spice in it. That's good. That's a good, good scent and nice and strong. I told you water has a scent. Oh my heavens. Water smells good. When they're going to come out with a scent, it's going to be white and it's going to say water and water. it's going to smell like nothing. It's going to be unscented wax and we're going to name it... Water. We dropped the wax on the floor. It's right here. <laughs> Hello. All right. The next scent is Sedona Sunset. This one smells very soapy to me. I wanted it to be like a favorite because we live in Arizona and what better to be able to say I have Sedona Sunset going in my office, but it smells soapy to me. It smells like soapy, but then I, like mm. there's... um. It's a little bit spicy in a way. Like. Yeah, so it's been a couple years since I've smelt this, so now I'm, I like it better than I thought I remembered liking it. Soapy, it almost smells manly, like leathery to me. It, there's a, a little bit of floralness in it. Something. A Let's see bit. what's in it. Just as the setting sun paints the desert sky, flamboyant desert lily and vanilla orchid enliven creamy coconut milk and ethereal jasmine. That sounds very girly in mm -hmm. the description. Totally not girly at all. In fact, I kind of think it's a manly scent, like manly soap scent, but not manly cologne. I like mean, leathery. Floral manly. Yeah. Floral manly. I don't. I, I just said yeah, and I, I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means either. Not a favorite. Don't hate it. Don't love it. Soapy. Leathery. Interesting. Anyhow. All right. Silhouette. I have no idea what this smells like. I remember the name. I have zero recollection if this is something I've ever sold, smelled, nothing. So Silhouette, it is a heliotrope and orange blot. What is heliotrope? I thought I that was know. something in chemistry. I like, don't even know what that is. The helix of DNA? Hmm. We're going to have to Google that. Heliotrope and orange blossoms with whispers of lavender and patchouli. Grandpa loves patchouli. I don't really know what heliotrope, heliotrope or helio. patchouli is. Patchouli is that dark, um, you stay right here and talk to them. Tell them what you think of it. I have a bar of patchouli. It's an okay scent. I, I mean, it's kind of spicy. I don't know. I say, I feel like I say that for a lot. I don't know. This is, pa oh, this is patchouli. That's okay. <laughs> Do you smell it in there? That might be the spice you're smelling. Yeah, you can sort of smell it. Okay. I mean. <laughs> hmm. I've smelt this before. Like, I've smelt something like this before. It's dark. It's soapy. It's musky. I don't like this scent. <laughs> it's not good. It's not that good. Is that terrible? I don't. You'll have to smell it. I don't know what a heliotrope is. Orange blossoms, 100%, I don't smell in here. Lavender, I don't smell. I smell the darkness of the patchouli. Hm, interesting scent. Hashtag not my fave. Not my fave. Nope, so we're going to move on to that from this. The next scent is Sweet Plum Pastry. It's on your side. I'm kind of glad it's on your side. It's good. has a buttery tone to it. I remember this. And I want to love it so much. I just have a thing with plum. Plum and I don't get along. Okay, this is a good plum scent. It's, one of, it's definitely one of the better ones. It is, because it smells like a dessert, and that's what makes me want to like it, but after a few hours of burning it, the plum gets to me. 
I mean, right now I like it. I don't know if, I've, like I've, you said, a few hours. I think I've burned this before and you guys liked it and I'm the only one and it's just my weird aversion. But I think you and Dad really, really liked that one. I like this one. It's like, it's like sweet and it's good. Okay, here's the description. You're going to really think I'm crazy now. Black plum and toasted coconut with a garnish of marshmallow cloud. How can that not That's be? That's really good. Yeah. I want to say I like it better than what I remembered. I just think over a couple of hours after a while it starts to get on me. But when I open that, I, I want to say I like that. Hashtag love it between fave. Oh, ooh. ooh. Are you afraid to commit to the word fave? I don't know. Next one is Mar... Uh, Watermelon mint. mint. That's the next Watermelon one. Watermelon mint. This is a favorite of mine. Has always been a favorite of mine. It came out as a scent of the month about three, four years ago in the middle of the summer. I think I love it because we live on the surface of the sun here in Arizona. <laughs> and this is the perfect blend of mouth-watering watermelon. Like, I'm, my mouth is legit watering right now. Me too. And the per perfect tiny amount of mint in there to make it feel like it's cooling you off when it's 115 degrees outside. I love, love, love this scent. I will buy probably a six pack of this for myself and I'm going to continue to talk to you and we're going to move on to the next one while I continue to smell this. It just smells kidding. like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Oh my gosh. With just a, I mean, when I say a touch of mint, a like tiny bit. It's so minor, but it just cools it. Sorry. It's perfect. Okay, watermelon mint, a chilled slice of sweet watermelon sprinkled with, did I read that right? Sprinkled with bracing fresh mint makes a refreshing summer treat. That was like a tongue twister to me. All that to say watermelon and mint, teeny, teeny, teeny amount of mint makes it perfect. All right, here's another favorite of all of my customers. It's called White Sands. Um, I am not kidding you. I'm going to have people knocking my door down for this scent. White Sands is described as mm. night-blooming jasmine softened by coconut milk and rice. Rice? It's a weird thing to say it smells like. Um, enveloped by the gentlest breeze. This is... Mm. That one's really good. Fave. This makes me think... It's a beachy scent, but it's not your, like, salty air, smelling the water and the sand and the seaweed. It's not that. It is, like, um, it's, like, sexy beachy. Like, this <laughs> makes me think you're on a tropical vacation, and you're getting all dressed up for a night out on the beach to have dinner in seclusion with the person you love. You're weird. Do you figure that out? Can you wrap that all into sure. that's how the bar smells? I think it's the jasmine... That makes it smell like love story-ish to me. But the coconut milk and the, the ocean breeze, I don't know, it's good. This is a favorite of so many people. And I don't even know how to describe it. It just smells like an amazing night out, like with somebody you love at the beach. It just smells good. All right, the next scent is Woodland Suede. We are coming down to our last four, so hang in there. Woodland Suede, it is a forest green color scent. I'm just going to take a slight whiff of that one because I remember this scent. It's not bad. We have customers that love it. Um, I know I have a downline that's always trying to track this scent down for somebody. It's a very unique scent. Um, I think you have to live in the woods to appreciate it. No, because um, I like it. You do? Yeah. Wow. It's like there's a hint of citrus in it, but it's like, you know um, winter pine and iced pine? Yes. Those are too piney. But then this one's like really good. It's woody, but not like too piney. I love woody, this piney. one. You do? Yes. It's a, it's That's a good one. funny. Woodland suede, I don't love, I don't hate. It's just a very unique scent. I would not burn this in the spring or summer because psychologically I have to have like zesty, fruity scents in the spring, summer, and then my spicy, comforting scents in the fall, winter. This is a fall, winter scent. I like it better than what I remember it being. I have to say that. I, I like think my, my scent has changed over time. Retreat to a... Tw retweet to a twinkle. I can't say this. <laughs> Retreat to a tranquil, wooded wonderland. <laughs> Redolent with red oak, smoky cedar, suede, musk, and a bright winter lemon. So you're right. A little citrus zest in there. Very woody. The suede has kind of a leathery smell. 
It's I, it's actually Very a good. lot better than I remembered it being. So love it, love it. That really shocks me. All right. Yuzu Dragon is our next one. This one 100% reminds me of the spring. It's very, very sweet. Um, if you like a fruity scent, you're going to like this scent. It is a burst of fruit that simply sparkles. It's fresh guava and honeyed nectarine spiked with exotic dragon fruit and yuzu, which is another kind of fruit. Melanie kind of smell. Melanie, like not the person Melanie. Doesn't smell like Melanie. I don't know what Melanie smells like. <laughs> That just sounds weird. It smells like, when I say fruit, not necessarily a berry smell, but more of a melon smell. Grapefruit. It kind of smells like that a little bit. A sweet grapefruit, though. Mm -hmm. There's nothing zesty or tangy about this. Just a bunch of sweet melon, I think. I like this one. I've always liked this one. This oh, is a hashtag like... Hashtag hash love it. Hashtag like slash love. Because I, I feel like I like so many that I'm being too generous. All right, Zen Garden. This is another favorite. If you like um, a scent that is just very calming, um, spa-like scent, not overly soapy, but kind of a clean scent, you're going to like Zen Garden. It is a dewy sweet bloom of ripe honeydew, soft freesia, and water lotus. So think like a white petal flower. Um, freesia obviously has its own scent and then the honeydew melon it just kind of softens it up it's calming mm -hmm. 100 zen garden is the perfect name for it it's very like zen like very yeah exactly i like it um this would be a bedroom or a bathroom scent for me mm -hmm. i wouldn't put this throughout my whole house because i like to i like the food and the citruses and the fruits hashtag but I like, this. like love it yes this is a hashtag like hashtag love it hashtag live it like, love, you have to... Angie, she says, I need white sands. I'm telling you, I'm going to have a lot of people. Zenya, you and I need to get together so you can smell this. Hi, Angie. How are you? Julie's on. How fun. All right, we're on our last one, you guys. This <laughs> scent is called Zephyr. Um, I think Sandy Youngblood, if you are watching, one of your boys, I think, really liked this scent. Um, I think you asked me about this one, and it's been discontinued for a while, and I never have it come back through, so this is it. So it is a masculine scent, but it's not going to be that heavy, like, business casual or mystery man where it's real heavy cologne scent. It is softened up by something. I haven't smelt it yet. Yeah. It's okay. It's a lot like business casual. It's actually a little more cologne-y than I remembered. It's a tiny bit lavender-y. Really? A tiny bit, I think. Because, look, no, you're right. French lavender. I'm surprised you picked that up. It's the lavender. It's... I like this one. I think I like this one better than Business Casual. I'm going to compare the two. Let them know what's in it. I'm going to open up Business Casual and compare the two of them together. Woody French Lavender, Buttery Suede, and Rich Woods, and a strong and sensuous, fra sensuous? Like, sensuous fra fragrance. I'm kind of glad you don't know the word sensuous from the word sensual. Mm, oh, I like that one much better than Business Casual. Business Casual has a bite to it. Mm -hmm. That one, it's probably because I like French Lavender. I don't know. This one's softer. That one's stronger. This one's good. It's just, there's some lavender in it. And yeah, this is softer, meaning um, it's not as masculine. Like, this is a masculine cologne that you've dumped all over yourself. This that's is a, a softer version of the masculine cologne. That's another cologne. flower cologne. I like this one. I like Zephyr more than I like Business Casual, so... All right, if you are watching this on the replay, go ahead and let me know which ones you've used in the past, which ones you've loved, liked, or maybe ones that aren't your favorite, like Silhouette is to me. Um, honesty is always fun. Anyhow, these scents, like I said, are available from July th uh, 1st through the 31st. They are available for one month only, and then they go right back into the vault, and we stop making them once again. So if any of these 25 cents are a favorite of yours in the past, or something new that you would like to try that's outside of the 90 plus scents we offer currently, this is the time to stock up. Um, if you are wanting Scentsy and you don't want to actually come out of pocket full price for it, you might consider taking a basket party around to your friends and family. It's really easy. $200 in orders lets you get your stuff for free and half price. $200 in orders, I mean it kind of sounds like a lot, but in all honesty most of our, our average order price is $40. That's five people that make an order. So it's really, really easy, and then you guys can get your six packs um, for super cheap, if not free, and then you'll have some half-price items um, 
piling up on you so you can get a six pack of wax for only $15. That's a great deal. So before we wrap this up, I just want to let you know this is the last day of the month. Um, so it's the last day that you can join my team and get a free Scentsy Go with a pack of pods. So if that has been something that you've been flirting with, um, it's, a, it's a great deal. You get the same gigantic kit with the amazing marketing tools and products inside of it, but you also get a um, Scentsy Go and pods with it, and that's an added $60 value. So today's the last day to join my team and get that as a free gift. Um, tomorrow is the first day of not only Bring Back My Bar, but Stella the Unicorn. So if you didn't see our last Snake Sniffs, for July video featuring rainbows and butterflies. Is that what it was called? The lavender scent? Yeah, rainbows and butterflies. Rainbows and butterflies and Stella the unicorn. You want to take a look at that. She is the cutest thing ever. I already have a uh, pre-order list started. They are expecting it to sell out. However, they're going to allow us to order it all month long and it'll just go into a back order status. I'm going to stay up till midnight tonight and try to squeak my orders in immediately in hopes that I can get mine to my customers before it sells out, if it sells out, it may not, um, and before it goes on back order. So if you'd like to add yourself to that list, let me know because I'm literally, I don't know what time it is, but at midnight, I'm gonna be placing my order. And that's it. That's Bring Back My Bars uh, for July 2018. Let me know if you're interested in smelling them, maybe hosting a show and taking a set of testers around with you. Um, other than that, mom is gonna go cook dinner because clearly, my brain is not working. Good? Good. Good. All right. What is it? Today's the first. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Uh, the first? Tomorrow's the first. Sorry. Oh. Today's the 30th. I told you my brain is not working. So in a couple of weeks, we'll get a new box in the mail. And <laughs> hold that thought. <laughs> All of a sudden, it disconnected. Anyhow, so we'll come at you in a couple of weeks as soon as, as, soon as that shows up on my doorstep, and we'll come at you with August. Oh, my gosh. We leave for Disneyland. Hopefully it gets here before we leave for Disneyland. It may not. That's not good. We leave on the... Oh, no. It, it might. We leave on the 18th. If not, we'll have to do it after we say hi to Mickey Mouse because Sensi is sending us to Anaheim. Disneyland. And we get to party at Disneyland. All right. All right. I have to go. I could continue to ramble, and it's just because my brain's not functioning. So thanks for hanging out with us. It's a kind of a longer version because we had 25 cents to go over instead of just one. So maybe pause it, go get a drink, come back later, smell another five with us, pause it, go to the bathroom, et cetera, et cetera. But we'll see you in a couple weeks with a much shorter version of Snake Sniffs, and we'll talk to you then. All right. Have a good day. Have a nice day. Have a... I'm so confused. It's, it's Either nice. way, have a fabulous day. Bye. Bye.